All right, the last part of why you want to be the strength conditioning coach for every single sport in your area is, like I said in the last video, when you get to know out there who is the top dogs in soccer skills, baseball and soccer skills, uh, baseball and softball, I'm sorry, um, track and field, offense alignment, defense alignment, wide receivers, quarterbacks, uh, volleyball, does, you know, for all around uh, positions, defense, uh, hitting, and then you know you look at your anybody who knows how to do wrestling, which is kind of rare down here in Texas. But if you're in the Midwest, it's gonna happen. I guarantee somebody's an expert in that um, that you can find. Um, if you get in good with them, um, then you be, that builds another pipeline. Okay, you're not just trying to get parents and. T uh, you know, coaches of the club team, coaches of the high school, the middle school, you're trying to get those who already have uh, authority at what they do. And I'll give you an example. Here in San Antonio, when I first got going, um, I started reaching out to club coaches, uh, high school, middle school coaches. Luckily, I knew uh, some already because we all grew up here in San Antonio, Texas. And I was on social media and I'm just searching and searching and I come across uh, Yale Vinoy uh, QB Academy, okay? Um, see, I am seven, this is my eighth year going in on this, and he is probably now in year 10 or 11. So he has established himself as the full-time and go-to authority south of Austin, Texas for um, quarterback training, okay? And I remember sending him a message, and he's a really cool guy, and I just said, hey, can we have a lunch meeting? I just want to talk to you. Uh, first about how to get this whole business thing going and then you know uh, if you like what I have to say about how I have my training philosophy and everything you think I'm a good dude you know we can talk about uh, sending each other referrals notice I said sending each other referrals it's a two-way street in these pipelines okay um, so the first year um, he had told some younger kids because a lot of the older guys already had people okay so be uh, be open minded to your middle school and elementary kids uh, starting off, and um, next thing you know, uh, the first year nobody called me at all. Um, I did come across him at some football games because the quarterbacks he did have uh, in high school, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, I was training some of their teammates. So if I found out he was going to a game, I was going to go to a game. I was going to sit and chat it up with him and. Um, Eventually, some parents of the quarterbacks he was training would always come talk to us. He would introduce me, and they'd say, oh, you're so-and-so's um, trainer. Yeah, man, he looks awesome this year. He's been a great asset to my son as a quarterback. Uh, he's a running back, so he makes my son's job easier if he knows he can hand the ball off or that guy's going to have his back because he's older than my son on the team. And those kind of uh, gatekeepers, once again, more gatekeepers, started – giving me clients and eventually they signed up they did great and all of a sudden i am the uh number one option for uh yale Vinoy, uh qb academy and this guy has like fifty thousand followers on instagram now and before he was killing it even just two thousand um he knows all the mannings he's been to their uh quarterback camps because he played at nickel state so he has a lot of understanding of the um camp market and everything like that and so I became good with him. Um, I started getting handfuls, guys that were going to make all city, all state, all district, uh, multiple quarterbacks for private school, public school, 6A, 5A, 4A, 3A, uh, all signing with colleges. We became synonymous with each other, so that helped my branding a lot to become attached to a really big name. I always try to throw him uh, names out there. I always try to tell him, hey, I sent this uh, parent your number. Hope they reach out. I'll make sure I follow up with them. And then... Eventually, um, some club baseball coaches started uh, reaching out to me, and they were also offering lessons. The same relationship took um, took place in there. Um, eventually, at my gym, we had a guy who did uh, part time on weekends, um, offensive line uh, training, skills training. Okay, a uh, good friend of mine now, and he was only Saturday and Sunday. Uh, training at the gym because he had a full-time job outside of training and when he told parents your son needs to get faster your son needs to get stronger your son needs to take care of his diet and be in shape more um, I'm not here during the week to help with that but I like what I see with Jim Swift over here okay 
Um, I think you should talk to him. And next thing you know, those kids are coming twice a week while they go to him for a third and fourth day on the weekend. I became the offensive line uh, trainer in San Antonio. I became his go-to strength conditioning coach. Then I started finding soccer skills guys to do the same thing. Uh, for a minute, I had um, some pickleball instructors. They were sending me players. That's really random, but that's all agility, okay? It's simple. Um, you become the strength conditioning authority, and if you run larger groups, you will be able to take on more, okay? If you run very small, maybe not as much, but your name will be spread out there, okay? So you go out there, and you find school coaches, parents, um club coaches, but then also go find those who are already existing authorities and specialized sports tra uh, you know, training. You become great friends with them. They need people like you, just like you need people like them. I can train any quarterback to become bigger, faster, stronger, but if they can't throw accurate and they have a, you know, they can't read a defense, then guess who I'm sending it to? I'm sending them to Yale Vinoy Quarterback Academy. I'm sending, I'm making really athletic linemen, but if they don't know, uh, the technical way to block, I send them uh, to my boy, Devin Threat, okay? Um, make it a very good um, relationship where you both find value in each other and always be willing to refer out to them, and they will refer to you, okay? So uh, don't be afraid to talk to them, especially if they've been in business. Uh, if you say all the right things and you do all the right things, it's going to work out, okay?